Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and this is episode number 13 of our Union Let's Play campaign on Grand Tactician The Civil War. Lucky number 13, and hopefully this will be the lucky day when Ulysses S. Grant, over here with his Army of the Shenandoah and almost 40,000 men, arrive to join the fight. Their uh, readiness is still on the low side, so I'm not going to move them just yet, but... Uh, fairly soon, I'm going to be sending them south. Um, Irvin McDowell just lost a battle here in central Virginia. Uh, the battle for the Shenandoah Valley and central Virginia itself has been kind of a back and forth thing. Uh, so far, we win, they win, we win, they win, and so forth. Um, out west, we do have our two armies that are moving in on Memphis. Um, we have a Confederate invasion. The Army of Tennessee is up into Kentucky, so that's something we're going to have to deal with. Uh, I was looking at what I could do for uh, recruits, and I do have uh, enough recruits to add some to one of these armies. I just um, kind of conflicted as to which one to add it to. The majority of my recruits would come out of Missouri, so it would be logical to add them to one of these forces here. But also, if we added them to this Department of Pennsylvania under Robert Patterson, excuse me, he could come over and deal with this invasion here. And I think he would be perfectly capable of handling... Uh, what our intelligence tells us is 8,000 men. So I think that's the, uh, the route we're going to go, is we're going to add some new recruits to the Department of Pennsylvania. Um, I might send them up here to capture uh, Wheeling first, uh, get that out of Confederate hands, and then possibly down to Charleston. Um, not entirely sure about that yet. We probably are going to have to deal with the Army of the Potomac at some point before we send them over, but this is something we can't ignore. Uh, we've got an army in New York up here that's uh, ways away from being ready to go. So they are going to be coming down when they're ready, whenever that is. Our Navy has been a little more successful. They've won virtually everything that they've, uh, every battle that they've been in. Um, right now we do have the James River Squadron here with our Black Island Squadron. So, as you can see, their readiness is, uh, crap as well. Once they are good to go, I'm going to send them down. I have, uh, plans on blockading Wilmington once they get ready, so... We will see how long that takes. So let's add some troops to the Department of Pennsylvania. Um, their morale is low. They're not in the best of shape right now. Uh, 15, 15, 15, 15. So I could add another brigade. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing here is just... Adding another brigade. Uh, uh, hold up. Add a new unit. Add a new group. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, he's the one that just lost his job over in, I want to say, uh, Grant's Army. I replaced him with, uh, I think, Joshua Chamberlain. Let's see who else we have to lead this division. Uh, we got John Buford. John Buford would be a uh, pretty good uh, choice to lead a cavalry division. In fact, I'm not really sure why I don't have him in charge of a cavalry division right now. Uh, let's grab this army here. Uh, Alfred Gibbs he is a cavalry officer. I think Dana is a cavalry officer as well. 
Nope, he's not. So we're going to replace him with John Buford. And once they're ready, we'll send them down. That's kind of our uh, our all-star army over there in uh, the area around Washington, D.C. Sorry about that. I had to, wanted to make sure it wasn't accidentally muted, which has happened before. So let's go uh, back to the task at hand. Okay, we are going to add a new group. And we're going to out of Missouri. We're gonna go with fifteen hundred. Uh, we'll give them brown, red. See what we can do about upgrading them. I don't think I have a whole lot of upgrades available to me. Yeah, one reboard musket upgrade. So. The rest of the brigades are going to have garbage, whoops, garbage weapons, unfortunately. Okay, so... And I'm kind of curious as to when I start moving my... Uh, who do I want to... Well, I want to do uh, some guns here. And we could pull them from... Uh, we can pull them from New Jersey. The artillery. Let's see what we can do about getting them some upgrades. 12-pound Napoleons. Sounds good for me. Uh, now we do have a little more we can add. We've got a brigade out of Kentucky we can add. And one out of Missouri. Uh, I think I'm going to actually cancel this. Now these guys are going to be here in 32 days, 26 days, 31 days, and... 23 days, so. And what I could do, actually, since these guys are over here, a little closer to uh, where it would be logical to add from. This guy's pretty fleshed out. He's got a pretty good size army, so we're going to add to uh, William Harney's Department of the West. We are going to add another... And we could probably add one more as well from Missouri. There we go. So the Department of the West has a couple of new brigades that are on their way. Wow. Where did everyone go? Oh, what's happening here? Right. See, so that'll give them uh, about 15,000. And uh, Army of the West has 20,000, so they should be able to handle uh, just about anything that the Rebels have over in that area. But that area isn't my main concern right now. It is the Northeast. So, uh, how long do we have until our policy... 10 days. All right, so we're going to have to keep our eyes on this area over here. See what kind of movement we have. Okay, this army is retreating. Looks like they're fortifying here. Uh-oh. They're moving up. Oh, McClellan, you need to have... We may have to pull out of here. 
because we're going to be going up 20,000 versus... Hang on a second, let's pause this before we get into a battle I don't want. Just let me select the army. 7,000 and 14,000. So it's, uh, well, it's, it's roughly the same. If McClellan could get his readiness up faster, that would be fantastic. Uh, Grant is almost ready to go. Uh, my goal is by winter to be in Richmond. That's the goal, anyway. See, I don't even think I can move Mr. McClellan. Yeah, I don't think I can move any of these guys. Uh, we're going to pull back slightly. Bring you back. It'll be an hour before the order gets there, so we may very well uh, get sucked into a battle we don't want. At least, not yet. Alright, slow movement, slow re low readiness. He is building a supply depot here, so we're going to leave him in position for the time being. Uh, Army of the West is moving in on Memphis. Let's see, Hooker is at his destination, so he pulled back. Come on, George. Grant is almost ready to move. Still kind of looks like they're... Can't tell if they're moving. Oh, they are. Here they come. All right. Guess it couldn't be avoided. 14,000 versus 15,000, uh, 18,000 total. Uh, roughly the same here. I really don't know if I want to take this battle or not. Four hours. And he's got three brigades total with low morale. I'm going to withdraw from the battle. With that many brigades with low morale, I can't really see that going very good, so... That is why I made the choice to withdraw. whether or not they uh, accept that withdrawal. That's another story. Okay, it looks like uh, just on the shy side of being ready to move in, so... Um, what are we facing down here? 22,000... 20,000... Let's uh let's move him down here. Have him travel by train. And how far are you gonna withdraw? Right there? Up to Winchester? Well, the Army of the Potomac is right here, so twenty thousand fourteen and seven thousand. His readiness is still garbage. He could probably well, that is a supply depot. Can we upgrade it? Yep. Let's upgrade the supply depot here. And here comes Ulysses S. Grant. I'm very excited for this. I think this is going to be uh, kind of a game changer for us, at least in terms of uh, the combat that we've seen in central Pennsylvania. I mean, Virginia here.
McClellan, you need to get your readiness up. And what's going on out here? So we've got the Department of the West. Looks like they're encamped in Memphis. Oh, wait. Got a wrong one. All right, so here we are in Memphis, low readiness. We've almost, well, kind of made a little bit of a dent. Okay, so it's the <clears throat> the Army of the Shenandoah and the Army of Northeast Virginia versus the Army of the Northwest. We've got, it says Irving McDowell, but the Army of the Shenandoah, that's a Ulysses S. Grant thing. So George Porterfield... 42,684 versus 17,000. We've got more more cavalry. I think this is the cavalry. Yeah. We've got more cavalry than they do just about... Well, you see what I'm saying here with the numbers, even if I can't say it. So, we are going to get into the battle. So, we are... Fighting on the bat the uh, Chancellorsville battlefield. It's the second battle of Rapidan Bridge. It's a meeting engagement. So <clears throat> this one objective right here is what we kind of have to capture. So we're going to send. Going to bring our entire army down. I don't want to keep them all on one side of this river here. But that's the problem, is I don't know where they are going to be coming from. We definitely want to keep, uh, keep our commander on one side of the river, so I'm going to bring them over here. Any luck, my cavalry is on the right, which they are not. They're on the left. All right, so this cavalry division here, we're going to separate them out once things get started, which I guess can be any time. So we'll start. <clears throat> okay, we are going to separate you out on your own because you've got a unit with low morale. You are going to be the ones to capture Eli's Ford, so come on over and grab that. And then our other cavalry division... I'm going to separate you out as well. Okay, detach. I think if anything, they're going to be coming probably up this way, I would guess, towards the objective. So we are going to have you scout out here. Then once we sight the enemy, I will uh, be back with a report for you guys. All right, so we have sighted the enemy. They are down in the Lewis Run uh, Wilderness Church area, uh, coming up along Old Plank Road. Uh, our cavalry is once again out in the front. I've given these guys orders to uh, come down here. 
Uh, looked like they were sending someone up to um, kind of get around us. So I've got the second division. I'm going to have them come out over here and see if they can't find that one. It was just one individual brigade. Uh, but as of right now, I don't think there is any uh, any action going on. Let's get the uh, these guys into. <clears throat> they are apparently already are in single line formation, except for this one brigade. So here is the enemy. Quite a sizable force. So we're going to dismount these guys and have them come over here. Like this. This uh, cavalry division up here is coming down. They need to hurry up and move. Okay, we've got... our first division moving in, our second division. Have them come over here like this. Third division is coming around the rear. I think uh, I'm going to have them change their, their orders. Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain and his uh, division. I'm going to try not to make a complete mess of this. <clears throat> not sure why he's uh, way off on his own. His first combat, there's another uh, brigade over here. It looks like they're moving back. Um, these guys are... So far, not doing anything, despite the fact that there's some artillery right here. So, I'm going to move them in to hit the artillery. And they're not doing anything. That's awesome. Yes, I want you to attack. Then you come up here. You'll attack from up here. Let's get these guys in the line formation. Get them all dismounted. Apparently they never got their halt order. Hey, you come over and attack. And then this... Probably come in on them. A pretty sizable brigade right there. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the rest of our army 
kind of making their way down. With brigades just kind of going off however they want. This could turn into a mess pretty quick. I'm not careful. They could always pull the cavalry out. I don't understand why they're taking such a roundabout way here. I have Chamberlain come over here. With any luck, they'll get into uh, into the fight quick enough. Looks like they're actually pulling back a little bit. It's fine. They are facing quite a bit of a uh, opposition here. They're not doing anything. They're not even dismounted. Like I ordered him to. Or maybe they are. Oh no, they're not. There we go. What about you guys? of our army. How are we doing? Let's hit Iverson's brigade. Have you come up? you come over and face these guys down you have to get into the fight too you can't just sit back and watch Yeah, our cavalry's not doing too bad right now. Let's move you up. Now we do have a s somewhat small brigade of 800 coming at us from down here. Right, the rest of our army is coming into position. Have our commander come up. Want you uh, to stop what you're doing. Pull them into a battle line. It's going to take so long to get everyone organized. He's going to end up coming right through the middle of all this. Come up. Come up. 
This is the uh, most organized brigade so far. What's this guy doing? Nothing. Okay. Come on over. Join the fight. These guys over here. Come up and join the fight as well. Looks like one of our uh, cavalry brigades got pushed off, and they did. Now they are taking fire from both sides, so that's not a good thing. Um, second cavalry turn to face him. He's about to break. for you. Second Cavalry, continue firing on uh, Garnet. If we can drive Garnet off. Alright, here comes the, uh, some more of our brigades here. Should have moved them in uh, smaller uh, increments, so they're not charging right into uh, into the fray. Let's actually get you to attack here. Okay, hit the Peninsula Cavalry now. Keep hitting Pryor's Brigade. Good. Brigade of the whole division up here. Actually, cancel that for now. Let's turn the uh, use roads option off and have everyone get into battle lines. Come up here. you down here. Right, things are kind of a mess here because uh, the original orders of my army were to come up this way, but then we kind of ran into the enemy and that flew right out the window. Although my guys are just uh, probably going to do what they want. Okay, I want you to come down here. Second Brigade. Actually have you turn and face. I guess you're not going to. Okay, Fourth Brigade. so bunched up. Wow, this is getting on my nerves. Let's have you come forward a little bit. <clears throat> okay, over here. They are nervous, but they're holding. Oh, here comes my artillery. Have them fire on that artillery there. Here's uh, our first brigade from, uh, I believe that's uh, Chamberlain's division. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna rearrange this slightly. Into something like that. Big Rear's Brigade. Alright, Chamberlain, could you get some control over your men? Second division, we're going to move you up. Right here. Let's get this artillery firing on him. This whole brigade, whole division just broke. Good job, Gibbs. I did realize uh, that I don't know if it was for the full first part of the video during the uh, strategic uh, planning but my mute my mic was muted so hopefully that was not the case um, as that would just be bad if that entire section was just nothing but a little cursor scrolling across okay let's move up on Greer Second brigade in on the action here. Have you come over here? I don't know why you're still in uh, marching formation. Cross's brigade. Let's have him move in on Frost's brigade. Have our artillery, who probably can't see, move up over here. Oh my lord. Look at all these guys just sitting around. Artillery that can't see. And then this division over here. Wow. Have you come up here? It's like uh, my whole battle line just broke. On Buford. How about you, Rally? Okay, second brigade move up. Well, this is kind of a disappointing uh, first showing for Mr. McClellan, or Mr. Uh, Grant. Okay, looks like Frost's brigade is falling back. Where are they 
ain't going. And why are these guys not doing what I want them to? of formations. Once again, they're all bunched up here. I should probably stop using my cavalry as a forward line of infantry. Tend to get them wiped out quite a bit this well that's the uh this is artillery here order. What the hell are you doing way over there? Holy shit. I'm just gonna have you attack uh, Greer here. Put you in a battle line. Probably go to long range too. On everybody. Wow. Very, very tired from a long day of work today. We can go to him and just do that. Single line formation for everybody. <laughs> Alright. Had to say goodnight to my little boy. Let's get our uh, forces kind of arranged. up on Benning. Uh, you are coming in pretty close to this force over here. So we're going to have you form up in a line. are still slowly moving into position. I'm going to take up uh, position and start pushing on these uh, this clump of units right here. They're idle. The enemy is right in front of them and they are idle.
have you move up a little bit. And they're just going to walk right by him. Hey, guys. <laughs> I move. Okay, it does look like they're starting to pull back a little bit. This was definitely a poor setup on my part. I wish you'd just uh, start firing on him. Seems he's right in your face instead of marching past him. Oh, one of our brigades broke. Guys are facing the wrong way. <laughs> wow. All right. Can't keep moving in on Greer. Ah, uh, he's broken. So you. Switch to Frost, and he's a huge force, so I want you to come around here. We're going to take the fight to Frost. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Artillery... Second or third battle in a row where our artillery just did not play a role at all. Terrain is just, on this Chancellorsville battlefield, just got awful. Okay, let's keep moving in on Frost. He's being surrounded on all sides. Our artillery is just kind of screwing around. I'll give you a long range order to come fire on him, who he just kind of vanished. That's all right. Gotta be there somewhere. Or maybe not. Never. Okay, here comes some more. We're actually bringing troops back up. My units in uh, the very front lines are seeing their first combat and honestly not doing too bad All right frost is starting the waiver I guess kind of one of the uh, 
disadvantages of having, I don't know, five brigades surrounding him. But we'll uh, move everybody up. Start moving them in on this brigade over here. Let's get them all kind of arranged in a line. Hard to tell what's what with all the orders that are coming into this uh, this area here. Hey, you. You up. Have you just chase Frost? Kill as many of them as you can. Battlefield got quiet. Jordan's detachment. It's interesting. Fourth division on stable. They're going to come up anyway. So I could probably just give a whole army order to, uh, to move up. Everyone in single line. I think they already were. I definitely don't want to do that. Cancel that order. Okay. What do we need to do to win this? These guys are still coming up. These guys are falling back. Wow, Frost's brigade's almost wiped out. Let's give the order to charge. Charge this. Artillery down here. Charge. Everyone charge. Their artillery is still putting up a bit of a fight. At least my broken units fell back to uh, the uh, objective. It's the only one we have to uh, attack right now is this artillery. These guys are actually, it's like they're kind of holding position over here. It's getting kind of close to end of day here. Yes, we are charging three brigades at this battalion of artillery. Why not?
Okay, we're finally engaged over here. You. I'm gonna come up here. Come over here. Charge in on your first first combat charge in. I don't know. Don't know if I really wanted to charge in with them. These are uh oh they're not even sent to long range? Wow. Hit one brigade there, standing firm. There's still the uh, horse horse artillery over here. We've killed almost half their, over half their army. took their cavalry there so we will start moving in on the horse artillery like it's mostly Chamberlain there's his commander way up here look at all these units we still have in the fight Get everybody, I'm going to have, have them just push through like this. Why not? Actually, I'm not going to do that. That's dumb. But we can charge. Listed as a major victory, but we've still got this little tiny sliver of, uh, Fight left in the Confederates. I'm not really sure where there would be any more any more infantry to attack. I think they've all left. But we can kill as many of them as we uh as we can. Let's give a generic order to come up. Uh, and then we could probably speed this up a little bit. Yeah, they're pulling out. It 
Did Frost actually stop? He did. Okay. Now he's running. <laughs> These guys aren't running though. Oh, well, now they are. End of day, huh? Here we go. Minor federal victory. That's not what it said. Uh, fought near Rapidan Bridge. Minor federal victory, even though it said major. Uh, probably had something to do with our own casualties. And I just realized I, I had another army that had probably arrived and was just kind of hanging out towards the uh, deployment zone up there. Oh well. Anyway, that was a uh, our turn to have a victory. Pretty soon it'll be uh, their turn to have a victory, unless I can do something about it, change my, uh, my tactics a little bit. It's going to be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But a minor victory is a victory nonetheless, and I will take it. Ulysses S. Grant arrives on the battlefield. We uh, could have been a little more organized moving in, but like I said, I am had a pretty long day of work. I'm pretty tired. Wanted to get this episode uh, played out and get Grant into the battle. So that is what we did, and we probably took a lot more casualties than need be. Once we uh, get back to the strategic map, probably at the uh, next episode, I'll arrange things a little better as far as my forces in central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley. But for now, I'm going to call this episode to a close. I am going to try and uh, cut down the size of these episodes, the length of them. They have been running over an hour. I know I have when I watch uh, gameplay videos, sometimes uh, half hour, 45 minutes, and I'm ready to uh, move on to something else. So I'm going to try and cut down the length of these episodes unless you guys tell me that you don't mind the longer episodes, in which case uh, you get what you ask for. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, General Grant's premiere. If you did, hit the like button. That'll help out my channel and the series a little bit. Leave your uh, thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. Uh, like I said, my plan is to, which you probably didn't hear if my mic, mic was muted, before winter I want to get into Richmond. Uh, but we have this mess to deal with. These guys are going to be retreating, so there's that. And also in the west we are going to be dealing with the Army of the Tennessee that's invading uh, Kentucky. Our own invasion of... Um, Memphis has started. It's progressing. Uh, these guys are out here ready to go, but they... Oh, they finished their supply depot. All right. So they could probably move in to uh, Memphis as well. In fact, I'm going to give that order right now. And then uh, we'll see what the Army of Mississippi does with their 250 men. But that's going to do it for lucky number 13. Like, comment with the tips and advice, and if you'd like to follow along, I don't always make episodes when I'm half asleep, so the next one will be better. I promise. Really, I do. If you want to come along, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to stop rambling right now and say J76NY says thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day. Oh, boy.